Hi there, so the purpose of this guide is to take Marissa from Rookie to Diamond Rank. Um, Street Fighter 6 has seen a huge influx of um, new players. Um, a lot of them are, are sort of gravitating to um, Marissa. She's a really fun um, sort of brawly character. Um, and, and But unfortunately her game plan is, you know, it's, it's not a particularly um, simplistic one. While she does want to get in and um, you know, hit really hard and do some very damaging combos, um, she does struggle somewhat in the neutral and she has some quite glaring weaknesses that um, I see a lot of people struggling with. Um, you know, the game's been out a month at this point. Her game plan's still very much in development. Um, but I thought I'd make this video just to sort of help some new people out. Um, and, um, you know, hopefully you can learn something and progress, um, sort of follow it along and progress with me from um, bronze all the way to, uh, to diamond. Okay, so jumping right into the initial um, game plan that we're going to be using, we'll probably be using this from around rookie to bronze. The first thing really to learn is anti-airs. It sounds a little bit counterintuitive, um, but it makes a lot of sense once you realise that you know if you can't stop someone jumping at you, then you can't get them to play a ground game. So there's no point really learning a ground game until you can actually just effectively anti-air um, someone. This this will be something that will come with a little bit of time. You know you will miss time this quite a lot. You will eat jump ins uh, from time to time until you get your timings down, um, and it is something that you know you're gonna have to learn to react to um, as you go along. Um, but you need to be putting a conscious effort into it. Um, it's very important and, and sort of the stronger this gets, the stronger you'll realize the rest of your game gets um, as a direct result. Um, Marissa's basic anti air is Crouch Heavy Punch. She does have other ones, but we're really just going to be looking at this. It's a sort of catch-all anti air. You just hit Crouch Heavy Punch when they get roughly to the top of their jump arc um, and just sort of swat them out of the sky. Um, it can be charged um, like that. Um, and it does lead to a, a sort of longer juggle state like that and you can get combos from it um, but it's not something that we're going to be um, exploring um, more at the moment uh, the next thing to really um, look at is um, one of our actual major weaknesses and that's her inability to deal with close range jump ins um, so you see here if you hit crouch heavy punch you just get beat um, if they're close range uh, on you um, this becomes very problematic, it's quite frustrating to deal with if you don't know how to uh, how to deal with it. Um, but the actual answer to dealing with it is quite simple. All you do is you simply jump back and then hit a normal. Um, the one that I suggest to use is a jump medium punch. It hits twice, so you just tap it twice in the air. Sometimes the second hit won't land, um, but there's no harm in trying to, uh, to hit it. Um, sometimes you'll, you'll hit it late enough that yeah, you will get both hits and get that extra damage. The other button you can use is jump back light kick. Um, that's a very quick button. Um, it's a bit um, useful in situations where they're pressing a normal, perhaps slightly quicker, and they're not waiting all the way until the uh, the last moment to hit their um, jump in. Um, so just 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 mix it up a little bit. Just get try and get used to it um, in games, um, and you'll be sort of uh, you know keeping people on the ground in no time, or just winning games simply from anti airing people. Okay, so onto the normals that we're going to be using. Um, we're going to just be using some three normals pretty much. Um, that's stand medium kick, crouch medium punch, um, and we're going to be using um, crouch jab. But we're not going to be comboing anything off crouch jabs, we're just going to be using it um, as a sort of get off me. Um, when you see a little empty um, moment and your opponent's quite close to you, in your face, but they're not particularly doing anything, just sort of jab them out of range. Um, and try and keep note of um, whether or not it's hit or blocked, that will be important later. Um, if you do see that it hits, um, then you can sort of you know, push them out of range, hit crouch medium punch at the end of it, um, and then cancel it into gladius like that. Um, if they block the crouching jab, you're actually negative, so it creates quite a large gap going between um, the jab and the, and the uh, crouching medium punch, so it's not really advisable. So if you see it blocked, just sort of stop and then get to this range. If you see it hit, then try and go into uh, Crouch Medium Punch Gladius. It won't combo, um, but it will um, create a, a tight gap where if they press anything, um, they're just going to get hit. Um, so the other normal that we're going to be using, as I mentioned, was Stand Medium Kick. This is your sort of go-to. Um, keep them at range, keep them spaced. It moves a little bit forwards and has excellent range. This really is the range that Marissa wants to be playing at. Um, it's the, the sort of range that if they press a normal, you can whiff punish it with crouch um, medium punch. Um, I'll just show you that now. So if they are sort of um, say walking back and forwards, um, doing a crouch medium kick, you can try and get a, get a whiff punish it like that. Sometimes it won't connect the gladius, um, but you're generally safe in that situation. 
Um, so that's really what you want to be trying. Most of the times you'll probably get that to connect. Um, but that's really what you want to be doing. Going for, just fishing for the crash medium punch, keeping keeping them at bay with sand medium kick, um, pushing them out of range with jabs, and then you know, going for the crash medium punch gladius. And um, yeah, let's we'll just stick to that for now. Okay, so onto the uh, the special move that we're going to be using, and initially that's just going to be Gladius. Um, Gladius is a fantastic uh, ability. It can be you know used in conjunction as we talked earlier from Crouch Medium Punch, and that that's going to be part of our initial game plan. But it is also a fantastic normal to be using it in a neutral in general. Um, it has armor. Um, when you just uh, release it straight away, it only has a little bit of armor. When you hold it, the armor sort of continues longer um, until you release it, and then the armor stops. Um, you can just you know blast through things in neutral, um, like a standing medium kick like that. Um, the downside of it is it doesn't have any um, low armor. So you can see if you're doing this and you're trying to um, uh, fight a character using a low attack, then unfortunately um, it doesn't have the armor to do that. Uh, but it does have excellent range, so you can um, you can still play around um, at this distance even um, versus those abilities. And if you get the, the spacing and timing just right, you can often punish count the, the low attack. The next thing we're going to be talking about is one of the new system mechanics in Street Fighter VI. Um, it's something you're going to see a lot, especially at the lower ranks, um, and that's Drive Impact. Um, it's a reasonably quick move. It has two armor points. It costs one bar of Drive Gauge. Um, and it's extremely annoying. It, if it counter hits you, um, then it gets a, a crumple and they can go into a combo. Um, fortunately, it is relatively easy to deal with, but you will see it a lot of low, uh, low ranks. Um, so the way to counter it is to simply just do Drive Impact back yourself. Um, you can do that quite late because Drive Impact has um, um, its armor on its very first frame. So you can literally do it right to the last moment and, um, you know, just do a crash mini punch gladius if you can uh, if you can counter the, the drive impact of your own drive impact. Um, if you end up blocking it, that's fine. It will put you back into a neutral situation. Just try to, uh, to be careful of it next time. Um, fortunately, Marissa does have another answer for it. Um, her, um, gladius does actually break armor, so if you see them do it, you can absorb their hit and break through their armor. Um, if you're a bit further out, you know you can even just. Um, break for it whilst it's starting up like that you see it just started um, and it just broke the armor on it immediately because it was a fully charged gladius so we'll stick with that for now um, and that should cover drive impact it's going to take you a little bit to uh, to get used to and start reacting to um, but you know you'll pick it up pretty quick i'm sure uh, so the next thing that really we just want to talk about before we jump into some um some games um is parry parry is something that you really should be using from absolute day one playing this game um, it's such an essential ability, um, it prevents you from having to deal with a high and low mix-up, um, it stops you from losing drive gauge um, when you parry an attack, um, and you know, if you block a fireball like that you'll take a little bit of drive gauge damage, if you parry it you'll just lose the, um, the gauge from actually doing the parry. Um, you can see the parry actually drains your gauge as you're doing it, um, but then if you actually successfully parry an attack with it, it refills it, um, so it's a very good um, ability to, to be using. Um, you know, I'm not expecting you to be an absolute master of it initially, um, but if you see any particularly obvious attacks, um, then just um, you know try and parry them rather than blocking and just try and get used to it. Um, in terms of dealing with fireballs in general, you know fireball characters are spamming against you, just sort of move in on them, um, parry a fireball, and then if you see the fireball, jump over it, do a jump um, heavy kick, crouch medium punch into Gladius, um, just our standard punish combo that we talked about. So, you know, you see the fireball, jump over, and get your crouch medium punch gladius, um, and that will return back to a neutral situation, you just keep going from there. Okay, so hopping into our first um, first rank game, we've got a, got a Luke, um, so we're just going to take our time, see what he does. Um, there you go, crouch medium punch gladius, okay, he's jumping at us, so see what he does, keep him spaced out. Punished us with the eye, that's not a problem. So 
we'll just stick to the game. Just um, it's doing random DI, so you know we can we can counter these, but we'll just stick to the game. Keep him keep him pinned down. Keep him at range. Easy punish, crash moon punch, Gladius. Keep him at range. Just down medium kick. We're just going to continue the same game plan. Um, damn meme kick, keep it range. Start doing some more, more Gladius as in neutral. Must admit, I do find this a little bit harder times. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm dying to use other, um, other moves, so it's going to take me a little bit to uh, just to get into this um, and, and keeping a very simplistic game plan. If he continues to throw sandblasters, we can we can just parry them. He's probably going to throw another one in a minute, I would imagine. Just working our way in on him, keep him at range, and just you know, hit him with the gladius afterwards. So it's 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 very straightforward. Um, he's probably going to keep throwing sandblasts, um, but if he doesn't, we can just walk into our stand medium kick range, walk him down into the corner. That was a, uh, an input error, unfortunately. I didn't mean to do Superman that. So. But you can see there that Gladius trades really well. Again, we'll just stick to the game plan. Um, if he's chucking fireballs, we can just um, parry them and, and work our way in. Um, if he's going to jump, then we can just anti-air him, um, and we'll just work on stamina and kick and hitting him with um, hitting gladiuses. Drive impact, so we need to watch out for that. Might be able to get him to uh, to do it if we charge gladius. I should have been crouched medium punch, that's uh, that's my mistake. Okay, so it's, it, it's quite simple, we just stick to the stick to the real basic game plan. Again, I must admit I really do struggle playing this um playing this simply, but we'll we'll stick to stick to the game plan. There's so much more things I am I am absolutely dying to uh, to do. Dashing after it. Okay, so jury, we need to be a little bit careful of dive kicks here. Um, they're not something that, that you can easily deal with um, with our normal anti air approach. See that she's, you know, using drive impact, using dive kick. I 
I really am not, you know, I really don't want to just drive impact every time they, they drive impact. You can just block it. There will be situations where, um, you know, you're not going to be able to drive back in time. So I don't, I don't really want to DI back every single time um, and, and sort of just trivialize it too much. See, anytime that you actually block um, a, a drive impact after you've done a stand medium kick, for example, you can just be mashing um, drive impact yourself. Um, I'll try and get her to do that. In those situations, you can just hold Gladius um, yourself, so you can just. Uh, she's been doing drive impact a lot after the uh, the crouch medium punch, so there you can hold it and just um, smash her straight through. So again, we, you know, if she does dove dive kicks, um, we'll push her out of range of jabs and try and get Gladius through the uh, through the armor like that. Um, we can also try and Gladius um, the dive kick yourself. Um, you know, so if she jumps forward again in a minute, we can uh, we can or just punish the pinwheel like that. Move in on her, stand medium kick, keep her at bay. We could have DI'd them. See, so we can't you can't anti air that um, in a traditional way. Now she's in burnout, she can't DI herself, so um, we don't have to worry about it too much. But really, anytime that you're blocking your DI and you know, you've know you you've already done a move... Um, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that, sorry. Um, so yeah, anytime that you've um, done a DI uh, or, or blocked an attack and then um, you, can, you can form your own DI afterwards. Um, you can always get it off, it's got a one frame um, start up into armor. Minon here, we need to be careful about the um, about command grabs. We can just um, simply jump out of them and then and then punish them. Um, that's also a move that's um, particularly annoying. Um, so we can just uh, you know, jump in on her and, and hit her. Um, that we'll just have to use stand medium kick against at the moment um, and keep her at bay. Um, if she's going to do random random um, the eyes in neutral as well, just have to keep an eye out for that. So we can just punish that on block when it gets too close. There you go, we can just crouch medium kick, Baddy has punished that. And that as well, that's even more uh, even more negative. Keep a keep a pressure down with these. The same game plan. Just keep a uh, keep her out. Out of range and then um, into a crouch medium punch. Maybe we should have been jumping that. So I charged that a little bit too long there. There was no need to, to charge for that long. Yeah, no armor again on the gla on the gladius, so we lost that. Try, try and keep jumping to a minimum, um, but if you do spot a good opportunity, again, that was a mistake. That was an impair error. I'm trying very hard to stick to the, um, the exact game plan. But 
So you can see the, the range that you can catch people at with Gladius. Um, you know, so she's, she's sort of playing outside of that range. We can move in a little bit. Um, we'll just keep punishing her. She'll probably do the low spin, I assume, in a minute. Yeah, there it is. And then she'll probably do the... Oh, low again. Cammy again, gotta be very careful about dive kicks. Um, for the most part, you know, we can just stick to the game plan. Just keep our push back, hit it with Gladius is. Nothing changes, just use Daddy and Kick to keep her at range, and, um, and then use Gladys afterwards. same game plan as we work through iron um, I did consider adding some additional things to the game but I think it's um, really you know fine just to um, carry on with this game plan um, so we just just keep keep pushing out keep you know watching out for what she does she's probably gonna try another di in each one in a minute um, we can we can watch out for that and um, and get her back just like that so um, again, I'm trying not to do this too much. It does kind of trivialize these lower ranks. Um, you know, you should really just stick stick to the game plan. Just stick to punishing. Try and play some some levels of, uh, of footsies with them. Um, but you know, you can see this guy's just just continuously diing. So. Particularly tricky, then of course we can, you know, we can look to, we can look to parry it. Um, but right now, um, yeah, she's, she's just continuously pressing buttons, so we can just carry on as is. So, Cami again, you know, we're keeping an eye out for um, dive kicks, punishing anything that's punishable. Um, anti yeah, there. Um, sweet punishable there. Unfortunately, she cancelled the DI immediately after, so um, we still got caught, but we'll just keep pressing onwards. Um, but you can punish sweep with crouch medium punch. That's not, you know, totally universal. Um, some sweeps push you too far out of range to do a crouch medium punch. Um, on a spiral arrow. Um, yeah, just a little bit of punish there. I, I, again, you know, people at this ranks are often just um, doing very repeatable stuff. Um, <laughs> not dissimilar to, to what we are, <laughs> but um, they're not, you know, they're not thinking about um, their game plan um, particularly much. Unfortunately, the win streak bonus is probably going to um, catapult us through these lower ranks um, quicker than I'd hoped. But um, hopefully, there'll be you know enough games that you can see generally what the game plan is, um, and you can see that you know a lot. I get hit a lot, um, 
with a lot of this stuff um, purely because it's so random there's no real you know thought to it um, so you know it's quite easy just to get to get hit by it um, but you know our game plan is just going to take us through um, and hopefully that that's something that you can just follow and, um, and get through these these same ranks you're going to hit um, takes a little bit longer and you have to you know, learn some of this some of these things that is extremely fast so you can see there's a gladius as an anti air um, in situations where you're you know you're charging it anyway or you're or you're getting ready to do it in neutral um, you can use it as an anti air Again, I didn't mean to do um, Superman punch there. Uh, just, just punish again, and you know, we'll keep a keeper at bay with stand medium kick. Watching out for dive kicks as uh, as best we can. Punching um, spiral arrows like that. Again, sorry about the Superman. Um, See that when she's walking into that range, we can outrange her. You know, if, if we walk back a little bit here, we can just probably hit tag her with Gladiuses. You know, get get some armor through stuff. So we got beat by the low there. Um, you see, Stam medium kick there as well has uh, has fantastic range, and um, you know it, it can beat people starting up um, some of their special moves at, at range that aren't invincible. I think that should be now into, um, into bronze, so we'll change our game plan, up, game plan up after this. Okay, so going to bronze, we're just going to add a few um, a few things, uh, not too crazy, um, on our way into silver. Um, the first of which is if we see our jabs land, um, we're just going to be cancelling into light punch um, ground slam. Um, that's the quarter circle back and um, punches move. Um, it gives a knockdown. Um, it's actually um, a very strong part of um, Marissa's um, knockdown um, and pressure, um, but we're not really going to be doing anything after it particularly. Um, we're just going to be knocking the opponent down. You know, we can walk up to them and press a button. Um, you can also knock them down and um, dash immediately and press crouch medium punch. That that sort of auto times a um, um, a meaty, um, which hits them as soon as they're getting up. But I wouldn't worry about it too much. If they back rise, um, they will be out of that pressure. Um, and there are you know, much stronger things that we can do you know, after that. Um, but it's not something that we're going to um, focus on now. We're just going to sort of get used to confirming it um, and go from there. If you want to practice um, how to confirm it, um, you can set a, uh, the, the block onto random. Um, and then you know, if they don't block it, cancel into it. Um, if they do block it, just uh, stop and just you know, push them out of range. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to be adding is um, a Superman Punch. Um, it's a, um, a, a jumping um, special attack um, that's plus on block um, and can create a uh, frame trap after you land it. Um, the Light Punch version pushes you out quite significantly. You know, even if you land it very deep, you still get pushed very, very far away from the opponent. Um, and it doesn't really lead to you um, being able to sort of follow up. Um, with an attack. Um, that's both a good and a bad thing and we'll cover that um, briefly in a second. Um, the medium punch if you do land it you know you are in range of um, um, some normals um, but again at this point in time I would just think we're just going to be using it as a, uh, um, a way to uh, sort of jump over some special um, attacks that the opponents might be doing um, or jump through um, some normals with the armor. It does have a few armor frames um, the medium punch has the most armor frames, the low punch has the, um, the least, but um, um, the heavy punch one you really shouldn't be using too much. It's very, very slow and very, very easy to uh, drive impact. Um, you'll find that if you sort of, you know, you're, you're playing around this range, um, 
and then you, you know, you're, you're doing a light punch Superman or you know, you're playing around this range and you do a medium punch one, um, you won't get countered too often. Um, you'll actually find if you use the light punch one, uh, it's very, very likely that you're actually going to be able to um, drive impact um, back because you'll just recover in time. It's quite hard to react to if you're not being very predictable with it. Um, and that's really the, the sort of aim that we're going to be going for at the moment. Um, if you do see um, that it lands, you can sort of you can wait here at this range briefly. And if you see them press a button, um, then you can try and counter it. Um, that's really what the light punch version is um, particularly good at doing. Um, so if you change that to block reverse, so we'll put a crouching, um, uh, crouching medium kick. Um, do that. You know, so you're dancing around this range. Uh, in in range, you gladiuses. Um, in range, you stand, uh, standing medium kick. Um, you do that. You know, you see that, and you can just punish the um, punish the medium kick. Um, if you land a little bit deeper, um, you know, you can uh, punish the uh, punish it like that using the medium. As well, because you're a little bit ahead on the head on the frame, so you can uh, punch your crash medium punch. So we'll stick to things like that at the moment. Um, if someone does a faster attack and you've done this, then they will win. Um, so there's other normals that we will use in the future to counter um, uh, gameplay like that. But um, for now, I think we'll just stick with that and um, yeah, go from there. Okay, so jumping into our um, our first bronze game. Um, we're going to try and start using, utilizing the Superman punch. Um, for like knockdown there. We'll still stick with our crash medium punch um, counter. We'll still stick with using um, Gladius and neutral, and just sort of you know try to put all these things together. See if we can bait him into doing a uh, something that was punishable. That was a mistake on the uh, the court circle forward kick there. So that was good. We didn't, you know, we didn't cancel, but we could have we could have cancelled and punished the. Um, Drive impact there. Um, she's getting in our face a little bit, so we can push her, push her away before she gets in with some um, gladiuses. You know, keep her spaced out. Oh, unfortunately, I missed to confirm that. No, no, but yeah, that's, that's nice and easy. There. That was very punishable, but I yeah, unfortunately missed it. That was a little bit safer. I think that was just a little bit too uh, uh, too safe for crash medium punch to hit there. So we jumped over that normal with um, Superman there. So that's that's one of the uses for it. If people are hitting, you know, slightly slower, um, low normals, it does hop over them. It does take a little bit of time to hop over them. You know, it does have a little bit of um, uh, of a delay to sort of start up. And here we're just sort of bullying her in the corner of the crash medium punch Gladius that we picked up in our first um, game plan. Um, you know, stand medium kick there, and then again crash medium punch Gladius. You can see that if you start putting it all together, um, it's a very simple game plan, but it you know it does work very effectively. There we go, most knock her down. There we go, hit her with me too. All right, so that is a command grab. We need to jump out of that. Um, The Gladius, uh, Gladius there with the armor. Keep her out, and you can see that if she's um, if she's playing a little bit more passive, um, then that's the time um, to look for a Superman. Um, you know, once once you've proven that you're you know able to deal with her ground game, then you can sort of take start taking to the air. 
um, a little bit more. Oh, she whipped her throw, um, throw there, unfortunately. To be jumping out of that. Yeah, you can just dash up, crash medium punch, dash up, Superman. You know, we tried to punish it there. We should have been anti airing in the, when she jumped in just then. that we haven't talked about a throw you know I'm sure you guys are aware of a um, throw as an option um, by pressing a light punch and light kick um, that's something that as we go through these ranks you know people are going to be starting to do on our wake up a little bit more um, so we do need to look to, uh, to tech throw it someone's in burnout um, they actually every attack that you do to them causes significantly more um, uh, block stun. Uh, Luke you know we're gonna be watching out for fireballs um, hopefully we can uh, parry some of them oh, almost managed to punish that DP but unfortunately we weren't quite quite there so we just keep trying to space them out with um, with Gladius you know if we spot a moment for a Superman you know we can do one or two of those um, and just keep them keep them locked down Good thing to back up in the corner, people generally want to get out of it, um, so they'll just jump in like that. Um, so you don't want to be like point blank to them in the corner, putting pressure on unless you've got a specific game plan. That is something we'll you know discuss um, a little bit later on. Um, See, if we held that a little bit longer, we actually would have punished the uh, we drive through these games just by, by having a, a stronger fundamental game plan um, uh, than them. And really the, the point of having these, you know, and using these core, um, core moves in this way um, is to just sort of give you a, give you a solid grounding um, on what Marissa's game plan is. And then we start, when we start implementing combos um, and some of the more advanced stuff later, um, you'll have that already developed um, and be creating all the situations that you need to create. This ranks they're going to be pretty much just using the, uh, the two main specials that um, gave us some some problems in the uh, in rookie. Um, so they're going to be doing the grounded spin. That's probably the first thing we can look out for. Um, there it is. But unfortunately, we were too far away to um, to do anything about it. So we can just now she's in the corner. She's probably going to be looking to uh, to jump out or you know do something hail mary. 
And there's the jump. So we just keep her pinned down and keep her in the corner. You have to be have to be careful against her, you know, just throwing out uh, exactly that situation just there. So I was about to say, we have to be careful about um, using Gladius in the neutral versus uh, Manon. She's got a lot of uh, low attacks that will beat it and low special moves that um, people are going to be looking out for. Again, we just you know stick to the game plan and just keeping her um, keeping her out. Um, you know, I'm not respecting her on wake up because she's not doing um, um, anything that's uh, that's well timed. So I know that she's close to me and I can just do a jab, um, expecting it either to just be block or hit. Um, and as we talked about pushing out of range, so she probably do the low now. She get a bit frustrated. That's the um, that's actually a hit grab. Um, so if you uh, you can block that one. Um, so yeah, this is our first Jamie, I believe. Um, Jamie actually has a quite a lot of multi-hitting normals that can be a problem for Marissa in the sense that it, you know, it blows through a lot of your armor. Um, a lot of people do struggle with Jamie, you know, obviously at this rank, so certainly it's, it's going to be fine, but, you know, really what you want to be doing is look to keep him at this sort of range um, and just work work with Radius um, and stop him from, um, you know, pushing in too much. It's quite hard for him to do, do, do anything uh, if you keep him at that range. He doesn't really have a low attack that's, um, that's long, long range enough to deal with that. You can see now that he's getting a bit frustrated, so he's... There's the armor break, so you can see the you can see the power of that. There's the armor on the uh, the Superman punch. So, and you can see there they can try pressing a button after Superman move plus. Um, I think he's going to try and jump now. He's struggling to get on the ground, so. You always want to, you know, try and sort of think what your opponent's gonna um, gonna be doing. That that is, you know, hard. The, the lower, lower ranks you are, um, you know, people don't necessarily have a specific game plan, so it's not always easy to uh, to make judgments on what you think they're gonna do. Um, but you should always have some sort of idea um, what you think they're gonna be doing. Interesting. It's quite rare, rare that you ever see that happen, um, where the Gladius trades with a tribe impact. Yes, he grabbed us out of the uh, the start of Superman there, which is quite uh, rare to see. Round that we've actually lost, and um, there we go in silver. So we'll uh, check.
change up our game plan and add a few more things at this point as well. Okay, so going into our silver game plan, um, we're going to be adding the target combos now. Um, so that's the light punch, light punch, and the medium punch, medium punch. Um, these are both good, but they are useful in different ways. Um, talking about the light punch one first, um, it doesn't actually combo on hit, um, and it leaves a two frame gap on block. Um, it does, however, um, block string the second hit into light punch Gladius. Um, it actually even block strings the medium punch Gladius afterwards. So there's a two frame gap between the first um, light punch and the second one. But then after that, if you cancel into Gladius, it leaves no gap. Um, this is useful for causing a little bit of drive gauge damage. Um, you know, maybe trying to trap them in that first um, an earlier gap. Um, and it's a little bit safer on block if you just uh, don't cancel it as well. It's minus six. But I generally just recommend always cancelling into Gladius. If you want to leave a little gap um, after the light punch target combo, you can do that into the heavy punch Gladius. It leaves a three frame gap. Um, so really, unless they're mashing a reverse or a super, um, you're going to catch them trying to jump out or um, pressing a button. Um, the medium punch target combo is entirely different. Um, the medium punch, medium punch part of the target combo combos and it's a block string. So if they are blocking that um, first medium punch and you cancel into the second one, they can't, they can't do anything. Um, and it does combo um, on on hit without requiring a counter hit either. Um, again, I'd recommend you cancelling these into the gladiuses. Um, you know, you're not really wanting to be cancelling them into to anything else at this point. Um, there's limited use cancelling into some other other uh, things, but I wouldn't worry about it too much now. Um, but on the medium punch one, so medium punch, medium punch into um, light gladius leaves a two frame gap, and then medium punch, medium punch into a uh, into the medium Gladys leaves a four frame gap. I wouldn't do it into the heavy um, off the medium punch. Um, it's just too large of a gap and not, yeah, it was not something that I'd really, um, I'd, I'd, I'd do. Um, really how you should be using them, like I mentioned with the light punch, you can interrupt strings with it. The medium punch one is exceptionally good um, for catching people dashing at you, drive rushing at you. Um, it's not a bad um, anti-air against some very specific things. Um, because it, it's got a lot of active frames you can see at the bottom there it's got four active frames um, the downside of the medium punch is though that it's very very punishable um, compared to the light punch um, version so um, if someone is mashing a um, a, um, a, a dp on you then like you're you're going to get punished um, very hard for that and there's not a lot you can do about it um, i wouldn't worry too again too much about it now but you can see if someone's um mashing there um, there's not a lot you can do about it. Um, there's a few little answers and tricks from, uh, around it, but really, medium punch um, Gladius is something. Uh, sorry, medium punch target combo is something you should be using really as a uh, as a punish. Um, it's a seven frame, um, you know, quite quick, good hitbox move. Um, so that that's where you should be using it. Um, and I'll, I'll show you in some of the games sort of um, where we might use that. Um, other things that you can cancel it into, um, you know, you can cancel it into. Um, um, the demas to get the knockdown that we were talking about earlier so you can cancel it into the light demo that gives you a knockdown and cancel it into the medium demo um, same with the light punch if you do confirm it you can get into a into a knockdown state as well uh, so the next thing that we're going to be adding is um, drive rush um, pressure after we knock the opponent down so the knockdown we're going to be using is this one that we've already been practicing um, so you knock your opponent down you hold your parry button and then you just dash immediately afterwards um, and then we're just going to be using three different um, uh, things after that. The first one of which is overhead. So we're going to be doing drive rush overhead. And you can see that the, after you've landed that, um, you can just go back into a crouching jab and then just do the entire um, the uh, the entire um, uh, hit confirm combo again. Um, so you can do the same thing if you do light kick. And you just loop back into itself again. Um, and then the same thing with throw we're just going to be running up and throwing the opponent as well um, as a third option so don't get disheartened by this it does take a little bit of time to um, sit and practice um, the best way of practicing it is turning um, the opponent on doing a, a crouching light punch on wake up um, then put this on random so you can practice hit confirming um, and then you can leave the recovery on random as well um, in Street Fighter 6, it doesn't actually matter if the opponent goes 
um, backwards as a, um, a quick rise, uh, sorry, backwards is just a, a rise or a standard rise, they're, they're the same frame. So you, you, the timing is exactly the same um, regardless which one they do. So if you leave it like this um, with them doing a crouching jab, then you know that your timing is correct because you'll get a counter hit. Um, for the overhead, you just do it absolutely immediately. So you knock them down, do that, drive rush overhead, um, and it's impossible to you know mess the timing up really. Just do the overhead the moment you can. So knock them down, immediate overhead, and then you can just go straight back into your combo. Um, the light kick has a little bit of a delay to it. So you have to knock them down, wait a little bit, and then knock, uh, go into the light kick. Um, and the throw is the same. You need to um, delay a little bit and then throw them. So it takes a little bit of time to uh, practice. As I say, don't get disheartened with it. Um, it's something that you do need to, you know, put some hours into. Um, you know, throw a TV series on or a film, um, and just sit there practicing it. Um, and you know, once you get good at this, this is this is actually you know cornerstone of um, her game. Being able to confirm into these um, these hit confirms, um, it's something that you will need. You know, right at the top level of Marissa as well, um, as well as at the uh, the low level. So it's well worth putting some time into it. So the next thing we're going to be adding is one more of her special moves, and that's the, uh, the step kick, as I like to call it. It's quarter circle forwards and um, and kick. Um, it does have a medium version and a light version and a heavy version, of course. Um, but we're just going to be using the light version for now. Um, there is also an EX version or an OD version even, um, and that um, leads to some of our most damaging corner combos. But that's you know that's more advanced, and we'll we'll, we'll deal with that a little bit later. Um, so really for now how you should be using it you know in earlier um in the bronze game plan you know we're we're, we're doing some supermans now you know we're spacing people out um you know we're trying to hit gladiuses do supermans um and as part of that when you're at sort of this range um you can press it and it will um it's a very very good spacing tool it goes about three quarters of the screen you know just there you can get right on the tip of it it's actually surprisingly hard to react to despite um um, how slow it is overall um, but it's a fantastic tool to um, to sort of bait people into pressing a button or claim some space um, it's not something you should really be you know abusing um, you should be mixing it in with your supermans um, you know and uh, just sort of keeping people guessing as you're as you're doing the rest of your um, your neutral pressure that we talked about um, one of the sort of interesting things about it is that you know whilst it is unsafe um, if you hit it from max range and someone presses a button, you can actually punish them. Um, this is what's called a spacing trap um, as opposed to a frame trap because you are actually negative. Um, so you see that you hit someone, you're actually minus six here. Um, but you you know, if you space it out well, you're actually ending ending up at a range where they can't actually punish you with a normal attack. So you're sort of, you know, trapping them, um, if you will, to um to, to press a button um, and if they do you know you're either gonna block it from that range or actually just you know punish them with um, crash medium punch um, so that's that's really how we're going to be using that so the next thing that we're going to be adding is a, a high damage punish so far we've just been doing crash medium punch into gladius um, and what we're going to be doing now is a back heavy punch into heavy punch dima and then into light kick step kick um, as we've just talked about um, so it's a great little combo ender um, it doesn't cost us any um, drive gauge um, and it's something that you know it does reasonable damage, um, and it's uh, yeah it's a decent punish. It it's something that you should be using against some um, DPS, um, or if you land a um, sort of a, a punish counter um, drive impact, you know you can just go back heavy, heavy punch Dima, and then get your quad straight away. It's uh, yeah decent damage and something that you should be implementing. Um, one thing to note about it um, is you can do two heavy punches so you can actually charge the first back heavy punch into the second one like that um, it's actually not very hard to do and something that if you can spend a little bit of time in training mode at this point um, and learn then it will sort of really help you um, going forwards um, but if you're not comfortable at the moment with it just just stick with the the back heavy punch and you can um, you know you can add the the second um, uh, heavy punch later so the last thing I wanted to do before I go hopping into our silver games is just give you two quick ways to go into our level three. Um, we're not going to spend any time talking about our level ones and level twos for now. Um, they are useful, but just something that isn't massively useful for Marissa at this stage. So we'll um, we'll stick to the level three. So 
that's the first way into it. It's um, a combat that you should know and be getting very used to at this point. Um, you just do the jab confirm into the light punch Dima. Um, only to do the first part of the light Dima um, where it ends there. Don't do the slam. Just do the first bit and then cancel the end of that into the uh, into the ultra like that. Or the super level three super. The other way into it is from a um, uh, the punish that we've already been been looking at. So you just do the heavy punch, ground slam, the light kick, step kick, and then go straight into the uh, the level three after that. Um, I suggest you sit and practice these for a little bit, um, just so you can um, land them. But again, don't get too frustrated if you um, if you miss them from time to time. Um, but you know, try and look out for some options um, or some opportunities to land these, um, and it'll it'll really help um, help with your damage and to close out some tricky games. Starting off our um, our silver games, um, as noted, I did um, I did throw a game to um, to make sure that the win streak bonus killed off, um, yeah, and we didn't just plow through uh, silver too quickly. So, gotta watch out for dive kicks. Gotta press her down. So just keep her. Uh, start using our target combos that we talked about now. As well, if we see a good opportunity for it. Keep walking her down. Oh, she stopped. Just wait for it to come back so we don't uh, don't just get a totally free win. Oh, she's back over here. So we can bully with Gladius like that with the off the target combos. Um, she's doing a lot of drive impacts, so you know have to be careful for that. So Ken here, you know, we're going to be watching out for the Dragon Lash. Um, Straight away, so we can see these likes jump a lot. Just work on anti airing him. He's already in the corner. Gotcha. Oh, I did try and uh, drive impact there, but it wasn't, wasn't quite good enough to do. Mash that super, but just like, push him down. Parry these and just keep walking towards him. Take up some space and just challenge it. So he's probably going to jump at us. We'll just edge in. There's a jump. Target combo. Unfortunately, he's going to get with the drive impact there. So, Manon, we dealt with her before. You know, that, that's exactly what we should be expecting her to be doing. Look out for it, wait for the ground spin, get a punish, claim some space. Yeah, so she's trying to get the command grab, we'll just start working with the target combos. There you go, you managed to use the, the quad kick as well. Oh, my mistake, didn't mean to cancel into super. Unfortunately, that is something that does happen quite often. If you're going for Superman um, punch, um, it's got a very similar um, input to the super. Um, and yeah, it does, it does, they do cross over at times and you end up getting something you don't want. Trying to implement the game plan that we discussed as much as possible, um, you know. So, you know, using your supermans, knocking her down when you can, getting 
going for throws, going for overheads. That's one of those situations where um, you can do that and go into the quad. So that was one of the situations where Light Punch Superman um, actually has relatively fast recovery. Um, and if they do try and drive impact it, you know, a lot of the time you can drive impact them back. So that was just we target combo punish that one rather than crouch medium punch. So as I say, we don't want to be using over abusing target combo too much. Um, yeah, try and try and use crouch medium punch. actually our first JP um, we haven't actually had one um, just yet but what we're going to be looking for is using parry quite a lot in this matchup um, if he's keeping us pressured and keeping us away then we can use some um, parry with that um, land jump in land tug combo and then start keeping him pinned down Uh, that's the, the large um, orb like that is actually a command grab. One thing to note with JP is that when he has the portals out, he can't actually use the command grab. So you don't have to worry about it too much. So we're just walking him down, keeping him pinned down in the corner. Now if you always try and just stick to the, stick to the game plan, it will really, um, really help you sort of stay calm, you know, you don't overcomplicate things. That's one of those situations where the light punch target combo is, you know, quite good as a um, nice little counter. see that he's absolutely desperate to get out the corner at the moment so if you just keep him at the right range that you can still anti him if he does jump out um, then you know you'll be able to keep him pinned there and eventually kill him so if, you, if you do see the command grab you are gonna have to jump like that quite slow moving it's um it's as slow um the yellow flash that he just did there is a counter move so if you say cjp um do that and you've hit him with an attack um it like releases two little orbs um that home in on you um and it's quite it's quite hard to deal with it is something that we'll look at a little bit um a little bit later um but for now i wouldn't worry about it too much just um if you see it and you trigger it, and you trigger the two little orbs, just, just block and try and um, tech a throw if you um, see him going for a throw, or you think he's going to go for a throw even. So, uh, the light kick quad, um, light kick step kick's actually quite good in this matchup. Um, there's a lot of times where, you know, you can, you can put pressure on him um, before he's uh, got his... Uh, orbs out or his um, oh see there's the command grab it's very easy to jump you should just be watching out for it but you know it, it will still catch you there's the counter so it's very it's very punishable everything else he does is you know effectively like a fireball but you do have to be careful jumping against him you really want to try and you know parry his stuff um, and just move in So another Luke, we just gotta, oh, that was interesting. So again, just take our time, work our way in on him. Use a lot of Gladius in the neutral. Parry Sandblast if we see it. That's an overhead, I believe that move. Two. 
So again, don't get flustered. This guy's, um, you know, he's pretty much going in um, all in. You know, he's doing, he's just basically used his entire bar straight away. So if we just take our time, work our way in on him, he's not going to have a lot of bar left in a minute. by him. See what would be a little bit better there if we jab confirmed into a knockdown. see how much Marissa does does bully um, people once she gets going and once you start you know putting everything together so he's just trying to parry at the moment so we can just run up and throw him here's another Mon Monon so you know we're gonna be paying attention for the 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 low spin that she's doing so up exactly that and the Oh, we have to be very careful about command grabs. Um, so her, she does have a target combo that um, suctions you in, um, and then she can get a command grab uh, guess off off the uh, off she's pulled you in. So we're just going to be yeah, walking her down. Yeah, we have to be very careful of that. Okay, we can take the super. Start pushing her down. That was one of those situations where we landed Superman pretty deep, so we were able to get the uh, the light punch target combo after it as a frame trap. I'm expecting the low spin in a minute. That didn't come, so we'll just take up some space. There it is. So there's the um, the command grab. There's a super. So another jury. We've had a few already. But we just again just just walk her down. Uh, she's quite jump happy, so we're just going to be looking for Aunt Yes. She's dry rushing a lot, so we can try and use stand medium punch as we've talked about um, to punish the um, punish the dry rushes. A very sloppy execution from me. I didn't um, didn't confirm any of the jabs properly. So if she dry rushes, we can try and hit with stand medium punch. We can try and um, try and catch her there. She jumps. We'll try and uh, try an anti-error. Okay, she's also leaning on driving pads. So we can also jab her like that. That also works. And then we can run our um, you know, our mix-up game. And then anti -air. Oh, 
nice driving pack from her, caught the Gladius. So, she's probably going to drive impact in a minute, or okay, do something very punishable. There's a jump. So you can see that the target combos are extremely powerful at leaving a small gap at this rank. Um, if you leave a tiny little gap at this rank, um, generally people are going to be mashing something, they're going to be hitting buttons or trying to jump out or, or just doing something in general that gets them caught. So because she's doing DI a little bit in neutral, um, so those full stream drive rushes, you know, they're relatively easy to react to. Ah. Nice. So that's her level 3, so it's going to do a lot of damage. But if you ever get hit by something like this, you know, you're getting low, just stay calm. Oh, unfortunately, I didn't count the drive impact. But just. Okay, so Chun, so, you know, they've got good normals, great walk speed, so we've got to be very, very careful here. We'll just walk them down slowly. If they're doing fireballs, we can parry them. Keep at range. Maybe try and jump. Oh, so we could DI. In generally in situations like that, where you've jumped over a DI, you can actually easily, um, easily land your own. It's actually a very bad situation. Um, bad time for uh, someone to do a DI um, as an anti it's something you almost never want to be doing. It's very very easy to react to even though I didn't there. Um, it's something that would generally get you very punished. So it's another thing you can do, you can try and Gladius through, um, through fireballs.
Yeah, you can see, just keeping a lock down in the core now. Made a panic and, and that was the end of it. Really, ideally, once you once you get in, Marissa, you really want to try and keep on the offense if you can. Try and play patient in the neutral before you um you know before you get your pressure, and then after that you just keep at them. Once you've got them in the corner, you know don't push too deeply into the corner. Oh, that was an execution error. It was meant to be a Superman. You can see that if you just play around this range, you can start start looking to whiff punish people who are trying to play a footy game. This is around sort of silver gold, I'd say. You probably do start getting players who um, want to play a bit of a ground game with you. Um, and you can actually start practicing a little bit. Um, before that point, it's really hard to actually um, even find someone who's, who's not just sort of running and pressing buttons all over the place and uh, you know, not really thinking too much about their game plan. Oh, I tried to jump there. That was uh, that was silly of me. But you can see we can use this, the step kick there. Oh, nicely done. Uh, we can try and get into the level three if we. Um, uh, unfortunately, I could have. You can get into it from that, but I didn't want to um, um, deviate from the game plan. He's probably going to look to do a um, the overhead in a second. You can see during these fiber games we can mix in the uh, the light kick step kick and just keep walking him down. If he throws a fireball from too close we can gladius. This is going to be punishable so we just wait it out. Punish it. 